Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing fantastic out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of January 2024. I'm going to pull for you a seven card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions, whether it's a new person heading towards you, a returning lover heading towards you, or you're currently talking to someone at the moment and you're just curious about where you stand with this person and whether or not they had genuine feelings towards you, genuine intentions. Whichever your status is at the moment in love, Scorpio, I will definitely try my best to dive deep into your situation and see what you can expect for the week ahead. All right, so let's begin. Spirit, please tap into the energy of my beautiful Scorpios today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Get over here. These cards are huge. Very hard to shuffle. Seven card spread. Who's heading towards Scorpio today and for the next seven days with romantic intentions? How will they feel about each other deep down? What will this person's behavior be towards Scorpio? And what are some of the challenges that Scorpio may encounter this week so that way Scorpio can be prepared? Scorpio love January 2024. What is their weekly tarot forecast? Two more shuffles, please. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, so let's take a look at the person you're dealing with and see how they feel about you. We have the Knight of Swords. This is air energy coming through. Your person's intentions with you. The Four of Wands, fire energy coming through. Their behavior towards you for the week ahead. The Knight of Cups, ooh, Scorpio. This looks good. You've got someone really digging you. Um, they are coming in with strong knight energy and knights in tarot represent action. Uh, they represent forward movement, taking a chance, pursuing something. So you've got somebody whose behavior this week shows me that they're pursuing their romantic side, pursuing a chance to be affectionate with you, be very loving towards you, reach out to you, maybe take you out for dinner, or just show you that they care. Because the Knight of Cups is not shy when it comes to the romance department. And with your person's feelings for you being the Knight of Swords, there's something that they wanna say to you. There's something very important that they wanna say to you. I need to clarify this to see what this could be. I will clarify it in a moment. But intentions are very important to me in a reading. And your person's intentions with you is the Four of Wands, which is pretty good. The Four of Wands in Tarot represents building a community with somebody, building a home with somebody, um, joining partnership with somebody. It's talking about marriage. So I don't know what status you are with this person at the moment, whether this is someone new in your life or someone that you've been dealing with for some time now. Um, it's going to be different for many of you Scorpios. But based off of what I see here, you've got somebody that is really wanting to be in your life and doesn't intend to go anywhere anytime soon. You know, strong water energy and fire coming through. Um, let's take a look at your feelings. Let me see how you feel in all this before I get too caught up in what they're doing. How does Scorpio feel? The Two of Swords. Now, with the Two of Swords being your feelings, you're in this energy of, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to believe. It's like you're having trouble, you know, trusting the situation maybe, or you have trouble reading the situation with this person, maybe this person switches up their behavior on you and leaves you kind of taking a step back to stay reserved for a minute. Because Scorpios, you, you can't lie to a Scorpio, let's just be real. You guys can pick up on someone's body language. You can pick up when someone's behavior is changing, the way that they're communicating with you is changing. You can, you can pick up on patterns, just like Virgo. You and Virgo are very similar to that. And it's like this person's behavior pattern may have changed recently, which may be throwing you off a little bit to where you're kind of like not looking at this person's love offer just yet. Um, the Two of Swords is you kind of feeling stuck in your head about what to do. Hmm, interesting. You might have Libra in your chart. You might have strong Libra, specifically Moon and Pluto. Did I just say Pluto? I meant Pluto. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the challenge here. What's, what's Scorpio's challenge this week? The Nine of Pentacles. 
Now, the Nine of Pentacles is showing me that I'm pulling on a Scorpio that is very highly independent. You don't need anybody um, to help you. You don't need anybody to validate you. You have this very strong energy about you, and that's why you're not allowing anyone to pull the wool over your eyes in regards to your love life. It's like you're, you're in this energy of, I'm good with or without this person. I just wanna make sure that they are legit and not wasting my time. So let me just get back to my hot cup of tea and I'll, I'll figure it out later with this person. It's kind of what I'm getting off of you. It's like you're sitting there with a coffee or a tea right now thinking to yourself, yeah, I know my person likes me, but I, I need to trust this person first. Um, you definitely have this confidence about you. Let me take a look at your potential weekly outcome. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, everyone seems to be getting this freaking card. The Wheel of Fortune as your outcome, Scorpio, tells me that whatever is about to happen next it is out of your hands because the wheel of fortune is the energy of expect the unexpected you think you know it's going one way but it ends up going a different way you see the wheel of fortune represents the wheel that's constantly spinning all right sometimes you're up sometimes you're on the bottom of the wheel right just like a ferris wheel sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down it's it's depending on what's going on um, but it's meant to help us stay on our path it's meant to help us get on the trajectory that we're supposed to be on to be in alignment with our destiny okay so they're showing me that something to do with you and this person is connected to where you're meant to be going into the next couple months couple weeks, years, whatever the case may be. You're supposed to be connected to this person in some regard. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is about faded encounters, faded opportunities. Um, I mean, when the wheel is in the upright position, it's usually in your good favor. You know, when it's in reverse, that's when you're realizing that you're repeating a freaking karmic cycle. But let's see, let's take a look at your advice. Three of Wands. With your advice being the Three of Wands, they are encouraging you to be open-minded, to be open to what is up ahead for the two of you, to see um, what is being given to you because it's showing me that there's something you really, really want for yourself, Scorpio, and they're showing me that you're about to receive it. And the Three of Wands waits on that fourth wand. So if this is someone that you're interested in and they're interested in you, it looks like you both are gonna be getting what you want. But if this is someone that you don't want, they're showing me that it's just letting you know that you're reaching the mile marker that, let it, that lets you know that you're on the right path, that you're getting to where you wanna go next. Okay, it's just like a little, a little mile marker to let you know, Scorpio, you're on the right road. Keep, keep it going. Don't stay stagnant. Let's take a look at your overall energy with this situation. The Three of Swords and the Hierophant, oof. Now with the Three of Swords and the Hierophant being the overall energy, I'm strongly getting either you or this person or the both of you have gone through your fair share of pain in relationships where you have learned a thing or two about a thing or two and you don't wanna learn any more in regards to the same old, same old lesson. All right, you're done learning the same lesson. You've understood what is being taught to you by now. Some of you guys may have a choice to make in love where you might have, you know, two different people to look at and you're feeling stuck on what to do. For others, this could be telling me that this person has may have, oh my goodness, I can't talk, rewind. This person may have already hurt you before. Um, let me clarify, I need to dive into this because this is starting to uh, take a turn. All right, so let's see. I kind of see why you're in this energy all of a sudden. Let's start with your person's feelings for you. Why is the Knight of Swords how this person feels about Scorpio this week? Why the Knight of Swords could be a Gemini? The Page of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles and Judgment in Reverse. Okay, so the Judgment in Reverse is the energy of feeling like maybe someone casted the, the wrong judgment on something. Um, may have used used um, bad, bad judgment in regards to you guys' relationship maybe, was a little bit impulsive about something. It, it might be saying that this person may have recently hurt your feelings or, or hurt you in a really big way and they're acknowledging that they may have not used their judgment, okay? Judgment is also the energy of wanting forgiveness, wanting a second chance, wanting to make something right again, seeking out atonement, but it's coming in reverse. So I'm wondering if um, someone doesn't forgive the other person yet. 
That could be what I'm getting. Because this person looks like they're trying to come towards you to be very sweet and affectionate. And you're in this energy of no way, Jose. No mas. Go away. Forget my number. You know, you may not be so like open to what this person has to say to you in terms of romance. Maybe you've heard before and you don't trust them. Um, I need to dive deeper into your feelings and then I'm going to get into their intentions in a second. Why is Scorpio's intentions with this person the Two of Swords? I mean, I'm staring at this card's art depiction and it shows me a final notice envelope. Hold on, hold on, let my camera zoom in. Come on camera, take one for the team. All right, you see how it says final notice and you've got this blocked energy about you? Maybe this is your way of saying, uh-uh, that's your final notice. No, you already hurt me. And you're like blocking this person's apology, blocking this person's phone number, blocking this person's attempt to get back with you. Let me clarify, why the two of swords? The lovers and the fool. Okay, so you do love this person, Scorpio, whoever this person is. They mean the world to you. You really care about them. There's a part of you that's contemplating a new chapter, but at the same time, you're not looking at it right now. It's like maybe this is a bad week for you, and you're like, I, I don't want to look at this right now. I got too much on my plate. Maybe you're just feeling like you don't want to like emotionally commit to making a decision in regards to this person just yet. That could be what I'm getting. I mean, we haven't confirmed whether this person hurt you or not. Um, it's, it's just telling me that the overall energy shows me someone has been hurt before and doesn't want to get hurt again. I mean, your person's got good intentions. Let's clarify their intentions. Why the four wands? Wow, the Hierophant, the King of Cups, and the World card. My, my, my. Hmm. This person wants a major chapter to close for a new one to begin. You got the Fool card, they got the World card, and then the Hierophant and the King of Cups came out with their intentions. This is definitely telling me that you've got somebody here that has their heart already fully activated when it comes to you, and their intentions is to commit to this and to stay true and loyal to you. But I still get the sense that you're not trusting it. You've got some strong reservations about you, Scorpio. And I got that same energy off of Virgo's reading that I did yesterday. So you might have some Virgo in your chart. Let me clarify the blockage, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles the challenge here? Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Wands in the upright. Now, the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that has not gotten over some sort of betrayal, has not gotten over some sort of deception or some really like screwed up situation. Like you might be looking at this situation thinking to yourself, no, I haven't gotten over that. I haven't fully like process what this situation has done to me or what my love life has done to me if it wasn't specifically this person that hurt you. You're just telling me that you're in the time of your life where you are feeling good on your own, you're feeling stable, you're feeling grounded, you're feeling like you've created your own peace without the need of a partner to help you get that peace and you're kind of nervous about whether this person is coming in to be a partner or to be a nuisance. It's basically what I'm getting off of this card, Scorpio. You're in this energy of, I would love to have a partner. I would, but I don't. do I really trust that this person's not going to disrupt everything I've built for myself? You know, that Wheel of Fortune is telling me something is happening, though. Um, like, this person is helping you on your path in some regard. But, I mean... You do love this person, so I'm, I'm not feeling like this is the one that hurt you. I could be wrong, though. You know, take it however it resonates. Some Scorpios might say, no, Badison, you're right. This person freaking hurt me big time. And then other Scorpios are probably thinking, no, Badison, it was the one right before this person. They screwed me over. You know, it's going to be different for all Scorpios. All I know is the overall energy is pain and hurt. Or it could be third party. Or it could be third party. Maybe there's a freaking other situation involved here. But let's clarify your person's behavior towards you this week. Their behavior towards you this week, Scorpio, is the Knight of Cups. They would like to be 
romantic with you. They would like to take you out or just like have a nice conversation with you where they express their feelings. I mean, it shows this dude playing a guitar, serenading to this chick. Why the Knight of Cups for this person's behavior with Scorpio this week? Six of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Hmm. Interesting. It's like... You may worry that this person is just giving you breadcrumbs. Like this person's pulling you in because they know you're pulling back. It's like they're trying to like send some mixed signals towards you to throw you off of your game. That's what it kind of feels like. Because sometimes the five of swords is the energy of someone, you know, doing whatever they can to gain the upper hand or to win something. Winning at all cost. You may feel like this person is just giving you all this attention as a way of making themselves feel better or to, you know, boosting their confidence. And you may feel like there's a wrong end game here in regards to you. You're not trusting what this person's offering you for some reason, but you still are drawn to them for some reason. It's like a, a strong magnetic pull. It's like you want to say to this person, man, I want you so bad, but I know you're so wrong for me. Like, it's kind of like that energy. Um, let's take a look at the Wheel of Fortune. Because their intentions are good, but it's their behavior that looks like it's kind of wonky. Why the Wheel of Fortune for the weekly outcome? Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Cups in the upright. So now we have the King and Queen of Cups connecting to each other. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is someone no longer single. Um, Scorpio, you might be taking this person's love offer. They may be asking you to be their girl or their guy and you're like, fine. Because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is someone no longer single. Like unexpectedly becomes in a relationship with somebody or gives to a situation and opens up to the possibilities of a connection after a very honest conversation, Ace of Swords. Let me look at your advice because your advice shows me the Three of Wands. Why the Three of Wands? Magician and the Knight of Swords. Your advice is to stay confident and stay hopeful that what you're trying to attract in your life is you know, wanting you to, when you're at the vibration of, you know, loving yourself unconditionally, you're going to attract someone who's also going to meet that vibration and love themselves unconditionally in order to give you love unconditionally. And I do feel like there's something you're trying to manifest in with that magician energy and to stay patient. Something's around the corner, whether it's with this person or this person is playing as a mile marker to what's up ahead for you next. They're showing me something is lining up for you. I need to clarify this three of swords. Eight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you Scorpios, you were already in a long-term relationship at one point in your life and it went not so good. Or your person that you're connecting to went through something like that. And someone's getting in their head that this is going to be just a part two of what had already happened in one's life. Which is telling me that this person may not have hurt you before, but their behavior towards you this week might leave you feeling like they're just trying to breadcrumb you to get what they want and that once they get what they want, you're going to end up getting your heart broken. You're scared. You're scared. You're scared. You know, you got your wall up with that nine of wands. You're like, I don't want to get hurt. It's like this person is chatting your ear off, talking to you, and you got this scared look on your face. Like you're in this energy of, can I really believe what this person's saying to me? Is this person full of shit? You know, can I trust them? You, I mean, look at your face, Scorpio. You're like, I, I don't know. These, these men and women are all the same. They keep hurting me. Like you feel nervous to trust them. But... Something is happening where it looks like you're you're getting closer to this person. All right, we'll see. Um, I'm going to pull your person's hidden message. For zodiac signs that wanted to come through this reading today, I have Gemini, I have Aries, I have Scorpio, strong Scorpio energy. I have Leo, I have Taurus, I have Aquarius, and Gemini Virgo. But it could be any zodiac sign. Please rock that like and subscribe button for you, girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Scorpio, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. Also, I just recently did the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread, their current feelings for you spread, um, where I dive into your person's feelings for the next seven days. I will link that down in the description box below the video. All you have to click on is the All Signs link and then go on to your Scorpio timestamp. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I now know it's true. 
My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. So Scorpio, you got somebody here either feeling like they made the wrong judgment call or they feel like they are or that you're judging them for something something else that went on in your life or something someone else did. Take, take it however it resonates, but I'm strongly getting something changing very rapidly out of nowhere, something changing and you trying to fight it, but something is like latching on to you energetically as if it's to say, we're supposed to go through this process, just go with the flow, whatever will be, will be. As long as you're putting your needs first and you're not taking any disrespect from anybody, just go with the flow and see where where your life goes. All right, because you got something to look forward to. All right, I hope this helps. I'll check back with you in another few days for your next update. Till then, I love you, Scorpio. Take care.